Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this video, we'll see the question vowel spell checker. Given a word list, we want to implement a spell checker that converts a query word into a correct word. For the given query word, the spell checker handles two categories of spelling mistakes. First is capitalization and second is vowel checker. So capitalization in general will only check whether both the words have same characters in same sequence but can have different capitalizations or different cases of the letters in it. If that is the case, that would be checked by capitalization and vowel error is that if one vowel is substituted for the another vowel and if you remove those, are the words matching or not? That is, if after replacing the vowel of the query word with any vowel individually, if it matches the word in the word list, which is case insensitive, then the query word is returned with the same case as matched in the word list. Let's understand what are the cases that are there in this particular question and then we'll try to apply an approach and solve this question. As the question mentioned, there are two types of errors that we are going to check. First is capitalization. These were the examples that were given in the question also. So here you can see that the word list has the word yellow and query also has the word yellow but the capitalization or case of the characters is different but in all the word is same so we can say that the correct word is the word that is given in the word list which is yellow with all small cases second is yellow and query word is yellow again both the words are same only the capitalization changes and so we can give the correct word which is the one from word list that is with a capital y in the third one also, both the words are same and the capitalization is also same. That is, it is an exact match. And so we can return the word which is in the word list. So that was about capitalization. The second thing is vowel error. So let's see the first example over here. The vowels present over here are E and O. And in the query given, this E is replaced with O rest all the letters are equal if we do not consider the case. So we can say that these words are equal because if you remove the vowel you have YLLW and YLLW in both the query and the word list and so you can just return the correct word that would be the word from the word list. In the second one you have an extra E in the query. So as we have mentioned, we can substitute a vowel for another one, but we cannot add an extra vowel. So we can say that there is no match for this particular query. And so we return a blank string. Similarly for the third example. So all the consonants from this word list word are present in my query word, but the vowels are absent. So can I substitute nothing for a vowel? No, I need to substitute an another vowel for a vowel and so this is also not a match and so we can just return a blank string. So that was all about understanding the question. Now what do we get from that question is that we need to note these points. First if all the letters are same exact match that is case sensitive then we return the word itself if all the letters are same but in a case insensitive way then we would return the word from the word list and if all the consonants are equal and here we need to take care that all the vowels are substituted with some other vowel not that they are adding a vowel not that we are removing that particular vowel as a whole no the condition is that all the consonants are equal and the vowels are substituted with some other vowel then also we can return the word from the word list if any of this case is not satisfied, that is, there is a no match condition. And so then we return a blank string. So these were the four points that we need to note. Now what do we use to solve this question? For solving this question, exact match can be formed with set. That is, if that particular word is present in the set, we can return that word. Secondly, we can have a map for case insensitive word. Now how would that work? We need to compare the word in lower cases from the word list and from my query. If those are matching, I can return the first occurrence from my word list. And the third one is for matching the consonants only. 
so in that case we will mark the vowels with a temporary letter for example a star or a hash or anything that you want and we'll store that in a lower case as our key and the first occurrence of that particular pattern as a value whenever we are getting a query that corresponds to that particular pattern we can return the value from our map and that's it if all these three are not found we can simply return a blank string so let's see that with an example so let's see this example we have a word list and a queries first and the foremost thing that we need to do is fill in our data structures that are present the set would contain all the words as it is for an exact match with the query word we are getting the case insensitive word map would contain all the distinct words that are present in the word list but in a case insensitive way and the value in it would contain the first occurrence of that particular word in my word list so there are two words over here one is kite and one is hair and the first occurrence is this kite for this word list and the first occurrence for hair is this particular hair over here so that is my map the third map would be the case insensitive consonant only ones so i'll be checking for a case insensitive word but i'll only be checking the consonants and not the vowels because vowels can be substituted for another vowel so in this particular kite from here or from here you can say i have k and t as consonant and i and e as vowel so i can substitute any vowel over here and if i get a query like that for example this one over here k e t i so it has k it has a vowel which is marked as star it has a t and it has a vowel again so i can simply return the first occurring word from the word list that corresponds to that particular pattern which is this kite again if you see hair it also contains two vowels so we can save it as h star r and star so this a and e can be substituted for any other vowels and so if you get any such word that matches this pattern h vowel r vowel we can return this particular value that corresponds to it in the map so these were the three conditions or these were the three ways we can find our correct word now let's quickly see what the words in the query would generate so kite is an exact match in this set so we can return this kite this kite is not an exact match from the set so we go to the second one and here we can see that this kite case insensitive matches this particular key over here and so we can return the value this kite is exact match we can return the same word hair is also an exact match so we can return the same word this hair is not an exact match but it is a case insensitive match h a r e h a r e so i can return the first occurring word in my word list that is one with the lower case letters h e a r there is no h e a r over here there is no case insensitive ones and if you go through this map also you do not get a same pattern we have a h vowel but here we have a vowel and r and over here we have r and a vowel which cannot be substituted so we can say we do not have a match and so we return a blank string similarly for this here for k e t i we have a match in our consonant only map for k w e t no again we do not have a match we just have a match for this particular pattern for k e t o yes this can be applied so we can return this kite over here so that's how we need to solve this particular question so without wasting any time let's go and quickly code it out so the first and the foremost thing three data structures one set and two maps so these are my three data structures in place now i need to fill these ones so i'll iterate over all the words in the word list and add the relevant data in all these three data structures so let's do it so 
so over here i am going to put only if absent so case insensitive i am putting a lower case word with the exact word from the word list for consonant i need to first de vowel so let's write a method for doing it so over here in this de vowel what i am doing is i am checking whether a particular letter in this word is a vowel or not this is vowel is again a method that we will be writing down if it is a vowel i am substituting that with star you can use any other letter like hash or anything that you like if it is not a vowel i can simply append that particular character so let's write the is vowel method to so that's it i am just going to match my character with a e i o or u so over here i have prepared my data structure now i need to loop over my queries so over here if firstly i can match for the exact one so if exact dot contains the query i need to add that in my result so let's take a result and result of i equals to query and this would be a string array okay otherwise if that word is matching in my case sensitive map so let's do if this map contains this key then my result of i would be getting that particular value from the map otherwise if that matches the pattern in my consonant map then i'll return the value from that particular consonant map corresponding to it and if nothing matches this will be a blank string finally return this result and we'll have to take an integer i and start it from 0 and at the end do an i plus plus and that's it let's try to run this code and we are getting a perfect result let's submit this and it got submitted the time complexity would be o of the number of words that we are having in the word list plus the number of words that we are having in my queries because i need to first add all those in this particular data structure and then i need to iterate over all the queries also so that would be my time complexity and similarly the space complexity would also be the same that is the sum of the words in the word list and the queries so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the video and i'll see you in another one till then keep coding keep learning